Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the one, the only, the Azathan back with more ridiculous story time shenanigans. Now, I thought I'd tell one about some of my experiences in school. Because high school is a ridiculous time, and these stories are going to cover all kinds of time periods, guys, in no... Oh god, I don't, I don't actually know what I'm doing. Um, what, what am I doing? Huh? All, okay. What? I don't, I don't need this, right? Okay. Fuck that. Alright, so anyway, in high school, this one time, I, I'm not gonna lie, I got in a couple of fights. I'm not proud of it, it was a little weird. Um, I was not a violent kid, but unfortunately, I just couldn't keep my mouth shut. I was sarcastic as all hell, and just things did not go well for me in high school. I didn't know when to shut up, I didn't know when to speak up, I didn't know if girls liked me, I didn't know if girls didn't like me. And by the way, go watch Day 9's crush thing if you want to hear an accurate description of what it's like to be a high schooler with a crush. You don't know the ones that like you, because around them, you're totally confident and normal and you act like a sane human being who's capable of having conversations. And then the ones that don't like you, you act like a complete idiot around all day because you just you just don't know how to function. You just stop functioning as a person. And then you ignore the good ones and go after the ones that you don't have a chance with, and it just uh, it compounds itself. And this is one of those things where it just kind of took a weird turn somewhere. So I brought a video game to high school. I don't know why I brought my Game Boy Advance game to high school. I don't even remember which one it was. I want to say it was Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. That's a great game. Anyway, I'd taken it to school. I'd lent it to a friend. I wanted to get it back at the end of the day, so I went looking for it. Turns out he didn't have it. He then lent it to another friend. I'm a little ticked at this point. My game should not have left his custody. But I go marching off full of piss and vinegar ready to cause some trouble. What in the world am I supposed to be doing right now? Anyway, I go looking for this guy because I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to go I'm gonna go find this. I go to that guy. Well, it turns out he's lent it to someone else, so I have to go talk to another person. Oh, bloody hell. So I finally track down that person. Happens he's a friend of mine. I put quotes around friend because it turns out, no, I was wrong. It's a fancy hat. I, I ask him politely, and I do... I do do it politely at first. I was like, hey, look, man, I there was a confusion. Um, that's not actually his game to give out, and I would appreciate it if you would give it back to me. And I don't know what happened, but he, he was adamant about the fact that he was not going to give me my game back. Because he didn't either believe me or something, but all I know is I took that as, someone's keeping my stuff from me, and I'm already in a bad mood, so I'm going to be an idiot. And I tell the kid, I look at him I'm like, listen, I, give me my game back or I'm going to punch you in the face. And he said, you're not going to punch me in the face. I said, I'm going to count to ten and then I'm going to punch you in the face. I don't know. I don't know why I had to make it so dramatic. I had this thing for being overly dramatic if we're going to talk about that. I remember one time, my friend, I thought he was being picked on. Turns out he was just being messed around with by an other friend, but it seemed so mean and like crude to me that I thought he was, they swarm us, shaman, okay. I thought he was actually in trouble. So I went full Will Smith on him. And I said, you better ease up off my back before something bad happens to you. And he pushed me into the ground. I got up, I knew karate, I was ready. I didn't actually consider the fact that karate had taught me to pull all of my punches and kicks to the point where they were completely ineffective. So, I throw a kick directly at his neck, and I bounce off his neck. The kid was built like a brick house. Anyway, I had this thing for being dramatic. Sure enough, he doesn't give it back to me. I count to ten. I punch him in the face. I don't know why I decided that that was the only thing that was going to work out, but that ended up being what we did. Now, I want to be clear. I'm 6'2", yes. Well, maybe six foot at that point. I'm about 140 pounds soaking wet, and this kid's not much smaller than me. Skinny, yeah, we both have glasses. Seems like a pretty even thing. This girl comes over, and I want to be clear here, for the purposes of this story, this is not racist, but it's a black girl. And this is where Aslan's going to get really careful about what he says. 
he comes up and goes, Oh my god, I can't believe you hit that kid in the face. He has glasses. What are you thinking? You can't hit someone with glasses. I'm looking at her through my glasses as she's saying this. And this is where things get a little out of hand. And this is, this is what I remember. Some black guys saw a black girl yelling at me. And they were like, oh my god, there must be a problem here. We better go make sure she's okay. Because it is a man, you know, like, it's a woman yelling at a man. Maybe he did something wrong. Maybe he slapped her ass. We don't know. Let's go check it out. So they go over. And then some other black people see black people congregating around a white guy who's being yelled at. So they're like, whoa, what the fuck's going on? Let's go check this out. And then, like, all the black people see that all the black people have now gathered around me. And this is, this is where it becomes a problem, because suddenly we're no longer dealing with individuals, we're dealing with a mob mentality. And any group of people in a mob is fucking scary. It just happened that it was just a lot of black people, and I didn't know why. It had nothing to do... They thought this was like a race war, and I was like, no, no, guys, it's because a nerd punched a nerd. This has nothing... I don't know how this has escalated to this point. My God, please... And, like, they're talking to me, and they're like, what's wrong with you? And she's yelling at me, and I'm trying, I'm like, listen, guys, I just, whoo, like, Disney-level, Cartoon Network-style, disappeared in a puff of smoke, left behind in my shape sort of thing, ran away. And then, I, I'm positive that we have animal instincts, because then their, like, predatory instincts kicked in. They were like, he's running, get him! And then they all just started chasing me. And my friends never knew all of this leading up to, so I'm going to now tell you this from my friend's point of view. Blah, 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 we're all hanging out in the quad, having a good time. Don't really know where Joshua is. We should... Okay, well that's fine. Let's have a good time without him. Because <laughs> it's easier to have a good time without him. I found a treasure map. And all of a sudden they hear a very loud sound. And then they look to the entrance of the quad. And they see me. As fast as I possibly can, I am running as fast as I physically can towards them. They don't know what's going on. They raise their hands and say hi. I'm already on them before they finish raising their hand. And I look at them and I say, guys, I think I fucked up. And then I disappear. And then it, from their point of view, it was literally they're looking at me, I vanish, and then immediately a cartoon style of people with like the dust balls around them and it's just like a, a, a amalgamation of limbs and angry heads and like a yelly exclamation points just goes stomping by them and they thought maybe maybe we don't help him this time maybe that's a lot of people so that's one of the days that I absolutely terrified my friends if you're wondering what happened it another cartoon like thing happened I was running past the security uh, <laughs> security station and someone reached in pulled me in and I literally watched this crowd of people run by the wall the room with no idea that I had been pulled into it it was scooby-doo kind of thing it was awesome so thank you for joining me for Azith and Storytime I'll see you guys next time when we talk about more weird stuff bye